Hi gymnasts, my name is Lilypad and I am super excited to be teaching your levels two and up class this week. Teaching from my home to yours is different because usually we would be in the gymnastics room, but that doesn't mean that we can't have fun with gymnastics from home. Before we get started, let's all go warm up. Hi gymnasts, my name is Lilypad and I will be leading us through our warm up today. If you're outside like me, make sure that you have an adult's permission and closed toed shoes on. If you're inside, you'll need a little bit of space around you where you can move around. You can move in place like me, or you can move in a small circle if you have enough room. Today, we're gonna do a basic level two, three, four warm up. So we're not gonna play a game, we'll just get straight into it. We're gonna start by running. Make sure that you swing your arms while you run. And breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and let's jog. Now let's do some tippy toe walks or releve walks. We should be up tall on our toes with our arms reached up to the sky and we want to try and keep our knees locked while we walk so that way they're not bending. They should stay straight the entire time and we'll do step kicks. Keep your legs straight, your standing leg and your kicking leg. Kicking up some stuff out here. And don't forget to breathe. And let's do some hops. Great job. Bend your knees when you land to cushion your ankles. And we'll do some bear crawls. Our legs should be completely straight in our bear curls. Again, you can do this in, uh, in place like me, or you can do it in a small circle. Let's go ahead and skip. Get those knees up high. Swing your arms. And now we're gonna transition into high knees. So high knees are just like running if you've never done them before, except you're gonna bring your knees up to stomach level. Ready? These ones really get you moving, so don't forget to breathe. And butt kickers. Keep breathing. And walk. Take this time to breathe. Make sure you take a water break before getting started with your lesson. Hi gymnasts, as you have probably noticed, the theme for this week's episode is pajama day. So if you would like to join me in pajama day, you can pause this video and go put on your pajamas. All right, we're gonna start with stretching. So for our first stretch today, we're gonna come down onto the ground in pike position with our toes pointed to the floor, and we're gonna reach for our toes as far as we can. You should feel this stretch under both of your legs. You should feel a little bit of tension, and we'll hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and flex your toes, and we're gonna do the same thing. Try to grab onto your toes go as far as you can. If you can grab your toes, try to bend your elbows and bring them down to your knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we'll open up to straddle with our legs straight and our toes pointed and we'll reach over to one side and we should feel this on the side of our torso. We'll hold that for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. We'll switch sides. Notice that it's my opposite arm that's reaching over to the leg that I'm on. Five, four, three, two, one. And now we'll reach our arms up and we're gonna reach to the middle. Try to get flat like a pancake. We wanna keep our knees pointed up to the sky when we do this position. And we should feel this on the inside of our thighs. We'll hold it for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great work. We're gonna come up onto our knees now and do frog splits. So for frog splits, our elbows should be on the ground 
and our knees will split apart while our feet stay close together in the back. So it kind of looks like a frog. We'll hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we can push up straight into middle splits. Slide out as far as you can. Just go as far as you're comfortable. Make sure your elbows are on the floor. And we'll hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and gently come out of that. Shake it out. Great work. And now we will go into our front splits. So we're going to start with deep lunge position, hands on our hips, and we'll push our hips to the floor. Last week, Coach Michaela mentioned that our back leg should be straight behind us, so make sure it's, your back foot is straight behind your knee and that your front foot is directly under your front knee. And now we will push our hips back and straighten our front leg. Try to do this without moving your front foot and reach down and try to touch your toes. We'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. And slide out as far as you can into the splits. Just go as far as you're comfortable. You should feel a little bit of tension under the legs, but you shouldn't feel any pain. If you feel pain, you've gone too far down. We'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Come down and switch to the other leg. Push your hips forward to the floor. Do a quick check to make sure that your ankle is below your knee and your back foot is directly below your or uh, behind your back knee. You can bring your hands down to the floor if that helps. And lean back, straighten that front leg. Bring your nose down to your knee or as close as you can get. And we'll slide out into our splits as far as we're comfortable. If this is easy for you, you can reach your arms up in the air. And we'll hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Great work. Let's come out of that. And we're gonna stretch out our wrists. So lace your fingers together and roll them around in a circle. We can do a roller coaster. And now form your hands like you're reading a book and then you're gonna flip them. So that way your palms are on the ground and your fingers are pointed towards your knees and we can rock back and forth. Flip them upside down so your palms are up. And now we're quickly gonna roll out our ankles. Go ahead and do um, five circles in each direction on each ankle. So I did five, I'll do one, two, three, four, five more. Now I'll switch, five, four, three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five. All right, now we are going to stretch our shoulders. So this stretch is called Eagle Stretch. I believe you did this last week with, with uh, Coach Michaela. So you should reach behind yourself and try to touch your pinkies together. And then you're gonna scoot your bottom out as far as you can and straighten your legs. You should feel this right here on your shoulders. Oh, now I gotta get my pinkies back together. And we'll hold this for five, four, three, two, one. For our last stretch, we'll do our bridge. So we're gonna lay down flat on the ground. Go ahead and lay down with me. Get your hands ready. And for this first bridge, we're gonna try and keep our feet together and our knees straight. So really push through the shoulders to get your knees straight. You can walk your feet out. You don't have to be super close to your hands. Oops, slipping on the ground. And we'll hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And now let's do three tuck and rolls. One, two, three. And now for our last bridge, we are going to lift one leg up in the air at a time for five seconds and then we'll switch. Go ahead and push up with me. Lift one leg in the air and try to keep it straight. Even if you can only lift it to here, that's fine as long as it's straight. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll switch. Straight knees, five, four, three, two, one. And come down nice and slow. Tuck and roll. Make sure to breathe out of that. All right, that is it for our stretch today. Um, go ahead and take a water break and we will move on to conditioning. 
conditioning today, we are going to start with sort of a plank challenge and we're gonna be focusing on planks today. Planks are really awesome uh, conditioning skills because they um, work our core area and when we do high planks, those can also work our arms. So we're gonna start in a high plank, which is like a push-up position. So you're up on your arms and you're um, up on your hands and your feet. If this is hard on your wrists, you can always come down to low plank, but we will be doing a low plank challenge at the end of the video. So if you can, you should try to do high plank with me. This is gonna be really fast, so just do your best to follow along for the challenge. All right, so come up into your high plank in three, two, one, and we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven. You should feel this in your core. Five, four, three, two, one, come down shake it out and we're going back up for 30 ready 30 29 28 27 26 25 make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists 22 21 20 don't forget to breathe 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 you're almost there seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down, shake it out. I'm starting to feel that in my wrists now. And we're going back up for 60, ready, set, up, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, you're doing great, 51, 50, don't forget to breathe, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. We're halfway there. 28, 27, 26, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, you've got this. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, we're almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, that was awesome. That's a really rough one on my wrist, so again, if you needed to do that in low plank, we can definitely do that. The next one we're gonna do is something that I call plank ups. So we're gonna start in a high plank and we're gonna come down onto our elbows one arm at a time and then we come back up one at a time and then we're gonna reach across with one hand and across with the other and that is one set. We're gonna try and do that 10 times. So we're gonna do 10 sets. All right, shake out your wrists one more time. Make sure you're ready to go. Ready, set, up. So we're starting our first one, down down, up, up, across, across, that's one, down, down, up, up, across, across, that's two, down, down, up, up, across, across, three, down, down, up, up, across, across, that's four, down, down, up, up, across, across, we're halfway through, down, down, up, up, across, across, that's six, down, down, up, up, across, Across, that's seven, down, down, up, up, across, across, that's eight, almost there, down, down, up, up, across, across, that's nine, down, down, up, up, across, across, and 10. Great job, that's a hard one. That really, that gets the blood pumping, but it also engages your core and your arms. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do for conditioning today is a low plank challenge. So it's the same thing that we did at the beginning of conditioning where we did 10, then 30, then 60. But this time we're gonna be down on our elbows, so it'll be a little bit easier on the arms and the wrists. Go ahead and come onto your elbows. Get ready for your low plank. We'll take a second to breathe. Do three deep breaths with me and then we'll go. Ready? In and out and out. And let's go up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, rest for a second, take a breather, shake it out. 
And we're going back up for 30. 30, 29, 28, 27, don't forget to breathe. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, make sure you're in hollow body. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, we're almost there. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, come down. We'll shake that out. Last one, we're going for 60. You got this. Ready? Three deep breaths. Two. And three. Back up. 60. 59. 58. 57. 56. 55. 54. 53. 52. 51. 50. Don't forget to breathe. 48. 47. 46. 45. 44. 43. 42. 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. We're halfway there. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. Breathe. 22, 21, 20, 19, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm definitely feeling that in my core. Great job. We will move on to our floor skills now. All right, let's take a water break and then we can get started with our floor skills. Okay, to start out, we're gonna be doing um, some basic rolls. So we're gonna start with um, forward rolls and we'll do some pike rolls and straddle rolls, um, just like we did last week with Coach Michaela. So let's start out with a, a basic tuck roll. So we're gonna come down to the ground, tuck our chin and roll. Stand up and finish. We're gonna do three more of those all together, just like we were doing lines in the gym. Try to stand up without using your hands. That's one, that's two, one more, that's three. All right, now we're gonna do some straddle rolls. Remember your legs should be in a standing straddle. We wanna try and keep them straight the whole way through. Good job. Two more. <laughs> I'm slipping a little bit on the grass. And last one. All right, now we'll do our pike rolls. Remember, it's okay if you can't stand up out of your pike in this one, but try to keep your legs straight the whole time. Two more. Last one. Okay. We'll do some candlesticks before we do our backward rolls to warm up a little bit. So we'll start in a standing position and just roll straight back into a candlestick. We'll do five of those. That's one. Make sure to keep your legs straight and shoot your toes up to the sky. That's two. Get those hips fully aligned. That's three. Four and one more. Great job, don't forget to breathe. So next we'll do our backwards rolls. Remember in our backwards rolls, we want our hands on top of our shoulders pointing behind us. And we wanna really push off of our head so that way we don't hurt our neck. Let's do five backwards rolls. And stand, that's one. Two. Three, four, and last one. Make sure to tuck. And five. All right, now we 
are going to move on to handstands and levers. So we'll start with some levers, just like we were doing lines down the gymnastics floor. Keeping our legs straight, both our standing leg and our leg that's coming up in the air and keeping our arms glued to our ears the whole time. So let's do five levers. You can do them in place or you can walk while you do them. And we can stick with our good leg or you can switch back and forth. Ready? One. Two. Three. I'm gonna turn around for my last two. Four. And five. Now let's do a couple levers with a hop just to get uh, used to it on your surface. So we'll do three levers with a hop. One. Land in a strong lunge. Two. And three. All right, now let's get into our handstands. Remember that when we go into handstands, we should be squeezing our body the whole time. And we should be looking down at our hands, not out in front of us. So our head shouldn't be sticking out at all. And we also wanna spread our fingers out to try to cover as much surface area as we can. And that will help us balance longer. All right, let's kick up for our first one. As a practice round. And now I want us to do 10 handstands. All on our good leg. Ready? That's one. Readjust if you need to. That's two. Make sure that we're starting and ending in a lunge. That's three. And four. Keep that hollow body position. Five. Don't forget to breathe. Seven. Eight. Spread out those fingers. Nine. And last one. Ten. All right, shake out your arms. Let's grab a drink. And next we'll do our cartwheels. Make sure that you have enough space to do your cartwheels, clear some stuff out of the way if you need to, and make sure that you're on a semi-soft surface, um, like grass or carpet or a rug. All right, for our cartwheels, make sure that we start facing forward, not sideways. We wanna start in a front-facing lunge with our hips squared forward, and we turn sideways as we come down and then land in a lunge on our opposite leg, facing the opposite direction. Let's go ahead and do 10 cartwheels. One, make sure to adjust so you don't run into anything. Two, three, land in a solid lunge. Four, you want to make your cartwheel straighter, one tip is to look with your eyes where you want your feet to land. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more, we're almost there. Straight legs. Nine. And last one, 10. Great work on those. It's hard on the arms, so make sure to shake it out before we get started with our round offs. So we learned round offs last week with Coach Michaela. This week, we're not gonna go too in depth. We're just gonna do five of them, um, and then we'll move on to our next skill. Make sure you start facing forward, just like in your cartwheel, strong arms and snap down. That's one. If you want, you can try adding in a little hurdle 
or a step into it. That's two. If you don't have room for the hurdle, that is totally okay. Three, make sure to keep your arms tight by your ears when you land. Four, last one. I'll do a hurdle for this one. Great job. Make sure to really snap those hips down when you um, come out of your round off. Let's take another water break. And for our last skill today, we're gonna be working on some bridges. Um, so we do bridges when we stretch, but bridges are also an important skill because we use them to do our bridge kickover. We do handstand bridge. Um, we do back walkover, front walkover. So today we're gonna start with the basics for a back walkover. So go ahead and sit down with me and you can watch this first time or you can follow along as I talk. So we're gonna lay down flat on our backs. Make sure our hands are in the proper position. Push up to bridge, and we're gonna lift one leg up as straight as we can. And then we're gonna switch and do the other leg. So go ahead and come shake it out with me, and then we'll hold it. Three tuck and rolls, and I'm ready to go into my bridge. So we're gonna do one leg up for 10 seconds, come down, roll it out, and then do another one for 10. Ready, set, come up, lift one leg up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, we're almost there, three, two, one, come down, tuck and roll three times. Lay down, we're gonna do the other leg for 10. Ready, up, 10, nine, eight, seven, don't forget to breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Tuck and roll. Take this as a chance to breathe. And for our last skill, we are going to do something called bridge rocks. These are really helpful for our kickovers because when we do a kickover, we have to really push through our shoulders to be able to get our legs over. So we're gonna push up into a bridge and we're gonna rock back and forth, shifting the weight from our feet to our hands. So I'll show one of those and then we'll do 10 bridge rocks together. So just watching this first time, I'm gonna rock back and forth. Back and forth is one rock. I'm gonna stretch out my wrists, get ready, lay down and get ready to go into your bridge position. Take three deep breaths. One, two, last one, and push up. Ready, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come down, tuck and roll, nice and slow. Really hollow out your shoulders and your torso. And stretch out those wrists. Make sure you take a water break and really roll out your wrists. That was a hard workout. And we look forward to seeing you next week for Superhero Day. Thank you for joining us for Gymnastics at Your Home with Kids Fair. Gymnastics is such an important skill. Your child is learning balance, coordination, agility. They're building their confidence as they work through things that they thought they couldn't do. Might have been something that they were afraid of, so it's so important. Be sure to subscribe. Watch our future episode. We'll have an episode out every week. Below, you'll see our webpage, you'll see our email. Be sure to let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. If you like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs down won't offend us. We want your feedback. Be sure to give us your comments below. Share, subscribe. Thank you for joining Gymnastics for Your Home from Kids Spirit.